just to get out because the force on the other side was calling them back to them, the other witches. This is what they do first. Then if they can't get you back, then they try and kill you supernaturally. That don't work on a Christian, so they try and... It's really funny. Most witches have given up the aspect of trying to kill me supernaturally shortly after I was saved. This is how they tried first. I went to Minneapolis, and they hadn't got the message, evidently. So they started casting spells, which didn't work at all, but you could fill them in the air. And then, when they found out that didn't work after a week, then they took the boat. But they hadn't gotten the message yet. But they're slowly learning they can't cast on a Christian if the Christian is sold out. I'm sure a few people know there's those that have Jesus as Savior, and then there's those that have Jesus as Lord. Yes. My wife was saved in a meeting a few years after I was saved, and her title was Lady Diana. That was her witch name. She was the state high priestess. She ruled everything in the state of Ohio that was in witchcraft. She was also the witch queen of one of the denomination or brotherhood, the Watchers. On a scale in this country of maybe 1 to 25, she was probably the 10 most powerful witch in the United States for my salvation. And she has close to $50,000 on her head because she's come out, not because she's married me, just because she got saved. And we took her into a rehabilitation ministry, and then later we started dating and were married and so on. But uh, she does a fine ministry. Right now she's just about ready to deliver a baby. She thinks she might even have it today. So uh, she's not exactly ministering lately. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, let me take about five minutes here. The question is, is human sacrifice practiced in witchcraft? I have to be kind of careful since a police officer is present here without incriminating myself or something. But uh, the Broken Cross was written by myself and Jack Chick. When it was reproduced, the guy who was doing the wording in the book, you know, writing our story for now, changed a few words he thought were stronger. He changed the word witchcraft to Satanism a couple places. And he changed the word Lucifer to Satan. That messed up the book. We didn't catch it until just recently, all these years. I've been reading it just kind of skipping over it because it means the same thing in my mind. But when a witch who doesn't believe in Satan reads it, it blows the whole thing. Since it wasn't written on Satanism, it was written on witchcraft. So the next printing coming out, they're changing the words back the way they're supposed to be. Satanism practices a form of, of sacrifice in some groups. Witches practice it more. To the everyday witch, that's a lie, I'm telling you. There's a few witches here in the congregation tonight that I know. You know. But there's a few here also that are in the human sacrifice, and they know I'm not lying. And when you get up into a higher level, fourth, fifth, or sixth, you find out that the power rests with blood sacrifice. You become what is called a human challenge. In other words, you are proving to Satan through the blood and the death of this person that you are sold totally out to him, although they don't believe in Satan. You're proving it to Lucifer. I always, the things that always puzzled me was if we were worshiping a God of love, peace, and joy, why were we killing somebody to worship him? It was one of the things I could never understand. But uh, this is the, the thing that goes on. One of the books most interesting that proves it, I'm saying this for witches that are present, not the Christians, leave it alone, is the Aleister Crowley Library where he was involved in human sacrifice and he was a master magician or witch or wizard, whatever term they want to use. So it does go on. And in fact, to become a six-level witch, you must perform it. It's just like when they, they tell, now this is for the women, not the men, when they tell the young girls getting into witchcraft that homosexuality has nothing to do with witchcraft. In order to become a high priest, the girl must be bisexual. She must perform a bisexual act. So see, every level you go to, they tell you a different story. And they tell you the people below aren't ready to receive it yet. And so every step you go up the ladder, everything you've been told before is a lie, and all of a sudden you learn new truth. The only type of witches that are kind of ignorant, and there are a couple of them here today, are the self-proclaimed witches, the ones who are practicing outside the organization on their own, and they think they know it all, she says. They'll find out one of these days when an enforcer comes from the organization and tells them you either join or you die. Then they'll find out it's not a game anymore. See, it's just like the mafia. You don't function on anything else. Let's take a few new back here in the blue shirt. What? Oh, I think it started in the garden, since the main lie of witchcraft is God's self, and that's the lie that Lucifer or Satan gave Adam and Eve in the garden. Uh, we can find it starting in, uh, before the flood and going on through. Of course, uh, we had um, uh, Neiman, who hunted the souls of man, who sacrificed babies. Uh, I want to say one thing since you brought that up. Astrology comes from Babylon. The high priests of Babylon were called the Chaldeans, and they invented astrology. 
It is the cornerstone of witchcraft spell casting. If you take astrology away, witches can't cast spells. And the 18th chapter of Deuteronomy lists the death sentences that the Jews used to have on them for doing things and following the stars as one. So when somebody comes up and says, what sign are you, say the sign of the cross. Now I'm going to tell you something. In witchcraft, they have a belief that says you are what you are when you were born. You can never change, okay? There is no miracle salvation in their doctrine. I was a Taurus, and I had all the personality of a Taurus till I was saved. I have none of that personality now. You do change through the blood. If you want to believe that you are born a certain way and have a certain personality, fine. Take the blood of Jesus Christ and you'll find out if you walk in the Bible, you'll all have one personality, that of Jesus. And his wasn't any particular sign. So um, I get Christians who come up all the time and want me to, to give them permission, you know, by saying, yeah, astrology's all right, don't worry about it. And I, it amazes me. They'll ask me and I'll say no, and they'll ask me again, they'll say no, and they'll ask me again, and they'll say no, and they keep on asking me and I'm still saying no. You know, and they go through it about eight times. I guess they think they'll break me down eventually. The answer is no. Astrology belongs to the devil. God doesn't use the stars. They say, what about the wise men? The wise men weren't astrologers. They were astronomers. A new star appeared. Not a new fortune under the stars. But if you take the times and the seasons and astrology away from a witch, they can't cast spells. Because spells are based upon astrology. So if you want to read Gene Dixon or Louise Huebner in the newspaper, that's your choice. You're the one that's going to have to face our Lord for it. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, for the tape recorders bit and a few people who didn't hear it. Kay is in the health business and he, and it, you know, Christians are interested, especially now, I've been noticing, in better health. And I know I'm glad this church particularly is. But he seems to attract in his business. We have a health food store. Uh, the occult. Okay, now this is why. The occults teach good health. They teach herbs. They teach um, vitamins and food, but they don't obey it. It's just like witches teach they are pagan. That's the word for the witchcraft religion. You're a pagan. Meaning you should be a country folk. And many witches have tried to move to the country, and 30 days later they're crying and moving back to the city. They can't stay in the country. They can't function without people around them. They have a lot of doctrines, but they can't keep them. And the health food is one of the doctrines. It's the devil trying to counterfeit something out of the word of God that he can't keep. That's it. And I remember I was trying to do this and do that and healthy. How? I weighed 149 pounds doing $150 worth of mainline, mainline shooting speed a day. How am I healthy? They can't keep it because the drug and the excitement of the city spoils it. They've got to have it to draw power and energy. They have to be where more demons that people are because it's like a, a dynamo of power. It's without you know, getting into the deliverance message here, that's the quickest explanation I can know. I know that when I first got saved, I wouldn't touch the health food thing because I heard about it in the occult. So I started realizing we didn't practice it in the occult. We were just trying to counterfeit it. So I'm very, very much into it. The only problem is a lot of the good things that I have to get come from the Mormon church. So I know, and that's what you mentioned, on the Mormon. But it's, again, a counterfeit. The Mormons try to counterfeit a good, quote, Christian home life. They don't accomplish it very well, but they try to do it. So uh, if we threw everything out that the devil tries to counterfeit, we'd never have anything. The higher up, it's one of the things I can't find out for sure where they get their money from. Okay? That's all I know. Yeah. It's a form of fortune telling. Okay? I know the leader of the occult in the United States, Gavin Frost, reads your fingernail. And I asked him one time when I was in the occult, I said, Gavin, there is no occult teaching on fingernail. He says, John, now you know, or he said, Lance, you know when you lay the cards down, and this is my way of answering, when they lay the fortune card down, they don't read the card. They read pictures and messages that come to them. That's why it's individual. It's not how the cards fall. The cards are just uh, a prop in the play. They still get psychic messages. It's all a form of psychic reading that they're still going to give you the definition from. He says, I just touch the finger now because it, people accept something physical before they accept something supernatural. It's just like uh, witchcraft has grown so much recently because now all of a sudden it's uh, telekinesis and EFT and, and clinical parapsychology names for the devil's power. So it's more acceptable now. It's still the same thing. Yes. How can you detect a witch? Mm. Supernaturally or physically? Well, I'll tell you this. The witch will detect you if you're a Christian before you'll detect them. Okay? But um, jewelry-wise... 
usually the five-pointed star in a circle or the six-pointed